Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about mastering her shadows, loving her shadows, embracing them. And the topic for this video is understand the outbreaks of her wounded feminine. I'm not sure if you heard that term before, the wounded feminine. What is it? So imagine that on a collective planetary level, there is an accumulation of all the hurts, of all the wounds that women have been going through. You know, the abuses the attacks on the feminine energy, the rape, the accumulation of the pain that has been happening, the traumas over thousands and thousands of years on this planet. And so the feminine itself, the feminine energy, which is the collective flow of the feminine energy all over the planet, which is not just reflected by women, but also by men. You know, we have feminine energy inside of us. We can access as men, the wounded aspects of the feminine. But the point is this, it is that if you see a woman entering into a reactive mode or into pain, maybe she's entering into that mode because she's tapping into something that goes way beyond herself. You know, maybe it's past traumas, maybe she goes like, wow, you know, I feel like this comes from a past life. Well, you know, you can, you can go there if you want to, but imagine that instead of that, she's just tapping into something which is a, a universal or global field of energy which is permeating all of humankind and all of the planet, and that you, as a male in her field, you're triggering a wound inside of her. It might be the wound of abandonment or the wound of pain or the wound of energetic or emotional abuse or suppression. It might be any, any wound, any possible wound, but the point is that sometimes when you are talking to her and you are, you know, somehow triggering a pain inside of her, what you're triggering is something that is a universal wound. It means that through her, you are talking or you're interacting with the feminine, with the wounded feminine. So it's a field of energy, it's a field of Shakti power. It's a field of the divine feminine. And so it's very important uh, to sometimes look at that and see what is happening beyond the limits of just two people interacting. Sometimes what's happening there, it's male energy, female energy coming together in two bodies, and what you are doing is like being the messenger for something that is much vaster than yourself. It means that you, as a man, you are talking to her, and you are talking to her in the name of the masculine. And sometimes what is coming through you is the immature masculine. Is the guy who gets over jealous or over controlling or might become even emotional, emotionally abusive or physically abusive. And then guess who is going to respond? You know, part of who or what is going to respond is her own individual field. But sometimes what comes through is something that is like the vast field of the feminine. You're talking to a field of energy, to a collective field. And so it's good to understand that because sometimes her emotional reactions, you go like, why is she overreacting to this? It's not a big deal. And the thing is that it can be a big deal because it's an accumulation of wounds that has been on the planet and humankind for a long time. So you are targeting, you are digging into something that is really, really sensitive in the consciousness. You know, you might say something for the first time in her field. You might say, yeah, I'm not sure if I can make it, you know, something like that. Not a big deal. Yeah, we were planning to, to meet and then I'm not sure if I can make it. It's the first time that you kind of don't show up for a date or for something that you had. And she freaks out. She goes like, what's wrong with you guys? It's always the same fucking thing. And you go like, why are you reacting? Why are you overreacting to that? And the thing is that it's not overreacting. It's just because you just touched on a wound that never healed. It's a pain from a, either a past relationship or the pain of the feminine that has been hurt and neglected over an extended period of time. Do you understand that? It's like we are talking about fields of energy rather than just one individual. So here is what's happening. It's really the interaction between two fields of energy, two energy realities, the masculine and the feminine interacting together. This, might, this is what might be happening. And so when she's responding, she's responding in the name of all females are the wounded females on this planet. And sometimes it's not the ones that are even alive today, it's maybe 
wounded females from the past, from two, three, four, or 10,000 years ago. She's the messenger of something that says, you hurt me 4,000 years ago in another incarnation, in another body, over an extended period of time, 5,000 years of suppression in some civilization, ancient civilization somewhere, and I'm still hurting. This is what she's really saying. Can you hear the magic of that? So this is a really vast topic, okay? We are talking about aspects of the divine masculine, the mature masculine, the mature feminine, and so on. Yeah, it's a powerful one. Keep that in mind, okay? I'll see you soon.